Hi, my name is Sarah Oates. Uh, I am professor and senior scholar at the Philip Merrill College of Journalism at the University of Maryland College Park, and I'm also a distinguished scholar teacher. Um, I started out life, professional life as a journalist. I was a print journalist for about nine years. Um, I got very interested in the politics of the former Soviet Union. I had studied Russian in college. Um, and when the Soviet Union fell apart in 1991, I felt like I wanted to evolve from being a reporter into being a researcher, so I went back and got a PhD. So I am in many ways a recovering journalist. I, I don't think people ever really stop being journalists. Uh, and that informs a lot of what I do as a researcher. So um, I lived in Russia for a while. I, I, I researched um, political parties, mass media, and democracy. So at the heart of my work, the heart of all my research is how, what is the interaction between media and democracy? And I've been studying this for about 30 years. And the short answer is you cannot have democracy without a robust media. It's why the Soviet Union becomes Russia, never becomes a democratic state. There's never a truly free and fair and independent media. And that dooms it from the start. And we're really seeing what I would call the end game of propaganda right now in Russia. So the current crisis in the world and the Russians' uh, invasion of Ukraine brings into focus a lot of things that are, are really relevant in my research and for the Journalism College. So about 10 years ago, I joined Merrill um, because I wanted to be part of a Journalism College. I wanted to be part of training the, the profession of tomorrow. And at the time, you know, as someone who studied Russian propaganda, that was very much, I think it would be fair to call it a niche field. Although the point I was making by studying Russian propaganda was the broader point about you know, media freedom and why, why media freedom matters and this is what media control and authoritarian regime looks like. Up until about a week before the invasion of Ukraine, I could have looked at what Putin was saying and what the Russian mass media were saying and I could have predicted events with, with fairly stunning accuracy because they, they signal what they want. So the media function as a mouthpiece of the Kremlin. And this, although it doesn't help democracy, it, it makes things pretty simple. So when Putin um, launched a rather unusual speech a couple of weeks ago, in which he talked about the need to denazify Ukraine through a special operation, I was sh shocked, not so much because of the content of the speech, because these kinds of things are sometimes said, but because it completely deviated from the way the Russian state uses propaganda. About just before they invaded Ukraine, they went completely off script and moved from a plausible, albeit still disinformation sphere, into the realm of complete and utter fantasy. And so all the bets are off. I don't know where Russia is going because the signaling system has completely changed and broken down. I think that the way you bring Russian propaganda into the classroom is you, you, you show them examples in English, um, you show them images, I'll be being careful not to show anything too upsetting or graphic, and you talk about um, the difference between propaganda and news. I think what's particularly valuable about the, the Journalism College here is that we're committed to teaching students the craft of journalism and we're committed to helping them understand and protect the role of journalism in democracy. And that's not something we give just lip service to, but it's something we do through our skills classes and through our research-based classes. So there's a lot of challenge and criticism and discussion about the history of journalism, the, the, the present journalism, and the future of journalism. So I think we're, we're asking hard questions. We're giving them a lot of our research-based expertise. We have world-class practitioners. And I think when you bring it all together, you have just an extraordinary place to understand the craft and the value of journalism in our society.